Venezuela, one country with two rival assemblies. Delegates to the controversial Constituent Assembly, which is loyal to President Nicolás Maduro, needed no convincing. They voted overwhelmingly to strip opposition leader Juan Guaidó of his legislative immunity. The next step is for the Supreme Court to begin a trial that can be accompanied by an arrest warrant or other precautionary measures. Guaidó is accused of usurping public office, betrayal of the nation, taking money that belongs to the Venezuelan state, and much more. The constitutional lawyer says the trial will likely start immediately. But clearing the way for Guaidó's arrest is a risky proposition. The White House has warned Maduro more than once that if Guaidó is imprisoned or harmed in any way, there would be a, quote, significant response from the United States. Just hours earlier, in the same legislative palace, Guaidó had overseen a session of the opposition-controlled National Assembly, which in January proclaimed him interim president of the country. Neither he nor the elected legislature exercises real power, but they are recognized as Venezuela's legitimate parliament and president by more than 60 countries. We asked Guaidó about the implications of losing his immunity. They have no legal right to lift my immunity or anything else. Let's call things by their name. This is political persecution in Venezuela, harassment and state terrorism. We will continue working towards the reconstruction of Venezuela. In a day of dueling resolutions, the National Assembly passed a motion accusing Maduro of promoting state terrorism. This was in response to the increasing use of heavily armed civilian groups to repress opponents and intimidate protesters. With Venezuela embroiled in an unprecedented political and economic crisis, made dramatically worse by weeks of widespread power and water shortages, Maduro appears to be fighting back with everything at his disposal. Just how and when the international community will respond is the big question. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Caracas.